It's October 15th and I'm um, going to check my route. This is turmeric and these are peanuts with a few other weeds in it. But uh, basically these are peanuts and I'm going to open these up now, find out how many peanuts I got. Well, I didn't really get very many peanuts. Nothing here really, but here, there's some, but I wouldn't call it a major crop. So this year I really <coughs> tried to protect them and I did protect them, but they didn't really grow to be much, many peanuts. Okay, now I'm going to try my turmeric. We have opened up the turmeric. <coughs> so there is some more turmeric or turmeric that grew. These are, this is the old one. Looks like the old one I planted and there's the new ones. Not a huge crop but probably worthwhile for its medicinal uses and culinary. See the old one and the new ones here. I just didn't uh, check these potatoes yet. They started growing in my compost pile. I got some potatoes out of that, it looks like. Otherwise, I did get uh, the other potatoes picked. I had my brother dig the potatoes for me. And uh, I got about 20 pounds, a little over 20 pounds from this bed. So for a whole year's worth of potatoes, I'd probably have to grow this whole garden size full of potatoes. My bean seeds are in and they're being dried in this shed. These were the spaghetti squash, the spaghetti squash that volunteered into my garden this year. I have to dehydrate these kale, collect the seeds for the broccoli, and take in some of these um, cabbage plants into the root cellar to save over the winter, to put them back out in the spring for seed. The onions are pulled out and they're hoping to dry up in the sun, but we don't have a lot of sun going on right now. Uh, but hopefully they'll all be nice and dried and cured to put them in the root cellar later. I collected all of the corn so that I could save it for seed for next year. And here are the milk thistle. Yeah, I'll be collecting these seeds to go around the corn in future years. And here are my late raspberries. Even in October, we got raspberries happening. Still have the carrots and the beets to dig soon. We'd still be harvesting German chamomile, but I haven't this year yet. Just starting back actually into my garden this year. And uh, yeah, these turnips were cropped, is sort of intercropped in between once I healed up these potatoes, then I planted the turnips. They get planted a little later in the year. So that worked out well. I'll do that again. I've saved these pea seeds. Harvested the green amaranth for seed. Okay, still working away at the root cellar. Um, I got a sealed insulated door, somewhat sealed. It was a little hard cutting this one edge because they didn't quite cut it short enough or narrow enough. But just pulled this out. 
Either way, I can plug it from the inside or the outside. Oh, sorry about the mess, but I got my potatoes in here and all my jars so far. Still working away at it. It's a fairly good temperature for the root cellar. 40 Fahrenheit would be good, or 5 Celsius is probably ideal throughout the year. Got a bucket load of uh, dried apples and one of kale, a bunch of tomatoes. Dried. The corn is inside drying for seed. And I'm gradually just saving the seed for various plants. I found that this peach box was great for keeping the mice, mice out from eating these. I'm, I think these seed from the basil or basil should still be good. I'll just, they were a good uh, variety that I got in late. And these are the old cucumbers. I will dig the seeds out, let that ferment for a few days and then dry them out. I'm just eating up the tomatoes left over um, for now until they're all gone. See some of them are going already. I could have uh, planted these or wrapped these in paper to let them um, ripen in the drawer. So you can do that with your green tomatoes. A couple of buttercup squash that I'm saving for seed. There was only one plant that grew, but hopefully these are fertilized. Because I believe they have male and female flowers on one plant. 